I had a question from a customer. Um, she's a new user on uh, Creative Studio 6. And uh, she'd gotten her edge to edge project a little bit messed up. And this video is mostly aimed for her, but also for anybody who has uh, messed up their project in a similar way and they want to know what did they do wrong and how to recover from that. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up an edge to edge project um, in the traditional way. So I have the pattern selected on the screen and I'm going to select the edge to edge icon and the software will prompt me to click the four corners to outline our sewing area. And so I'll do that real quickly. Now I have my, my boundary outlined where my sewing area is. Now I'm going to put in the length of the quilt up here under quilt length and it'll be the length of your quilt, not mine. But then the patterns fill in. Now where people can run into trouble is when advancing the quilt, normally everything goes just the way you expect. But it is possible, especially if you're reading directions from different parts of the book, um, that uh, that you can get your patterns to where they don't line up inside this boundary anymore. They're shifted right or left inside the boundary. And there's, I can show you how to shift them, how to make it wrong, and then how to make it right again. Um, if, uh, if all your patterns are selected, and there's more than one way to do that, I can draw a box that contains all of them from either the left side or the right side. Or I can simply click this icon right up here, which is select all patterns. And uh, any of those three ways will, will highlight them and turn them all purple. With a right click, I can go to relocate and shift selected to one point. And it'll say click the known point on the CAD. And maybe all you were trying to do was to roll the quilt up and you click this point and then it says click yes when machine is at the same point but for some reason you weren't real accurate about how you selected that point and what ends up happening is your patterns are shifted sideways with relation to the boundary and you're puzzled trying to figure out how can i fix this and how can i get my patterns back inside the boundary where they need to be um, there may be other ways to mess it up but that's, that's a way that I can show you. But I can show you how to fix it. So we'll select all the patterns again. If I can find the right icon. And we'll put the machine, a lot of times this happens after you've rolled the quilt. And so we'll put the machine right where the last pattern was stitched. And I actually like to lower the needle into that spot where the last pattern was stitched. Um, these patterns right now are showing on the screen off kilter where the last pattern actually would have been is around here. Sorry I don't have actual stitching to go by but this is where it would have sewed a band of patterns all the way around, along and stopped right about here and that's why it doesn't line up on the screen and so what you do is with all the patterns highlighted purple you do a right click on the white space of the design area. Come down to relocate, shift selected to one point. On the screen in big letters it says click known point on CAD. So you go to that very spot where you sunk your needle down into the fabric. And if you use the scroll wheel on the mouse you can zoom in right to that point and get a better more accurate click. So then you click it. Now it says click yes when machine head is at the same point on the quilt. Well we know it's at the same point because we lowered our needle into that spot. So I click yes, and now it has shifted my patterns to be back inside the boundary. So if your boundary is right or left in relation to your patterns, this is how you can fix it. If you have any questions, call your dealer. You may add to that about you're still in edge to edge mode. That's a good point. Um, I was able to do this and stay inside the edge to edge mode. There are a lot of things that you might try to do which would 
give you a warning message on the screen. This warning message is going to look Try something. It. It's yeah. going to look something like this. No, use oh. it. use the other one. Use. Relocate that one. Try that. All to one point. Mm -hmm. Try that. Yeah. So then it'll give you. There's a lot of other methods that will give you a warning that it converts it from edge to edge to repeat patterns. Um, that's desirable in some cases, but not in others. And so Paul's point is good that one of the nice things about having all the patterns selected instead of just one pattern selected is that it allows you to fix this problem and still stay inside the nice and easy process of an edge to edge. Thank you, Paul. If you have any more questions, call your teacher or your dealer.